for each and every control on our page we can find in the code behind a field that holds the object that represents that specific control so here in this code sample we have three text boxes so we have three fields of the type text box here we also have a form the form we create using the form element because of the run at equals server that means that on the server side there will be an object that represents the whole form the code the web browser receives is a bit different than the code we see over here and if we look at the code behind we will find that very specific variable that holds the reference for the object that represents the whole form if we execute and check the source code we can see the differences regarding the form as you can see the code is a bit different than the code we see in the Visual Studio